All right, Noob Noob, I heard that The Rock was going to forcibly assert his will against you. I wish he would, but also be a little more sensible about it. Yes, because then the DCEU would not be falling to pieces. That's right, we're going to talk about The Rock dominating domineering, forcing himself upon the DCEU. And his tequila. And his tequila. Termanus or whatever. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson overestimated just how popular he was because he does put out a lot of movies and they don't do that well. They do okay. I would say he probably averages like 30 million a movie. Uh, like opening weekend. Like what was that movie with the two with the monkeys? And the lizard, uh, he did... Uh, Jungle Cruise? No, no, no. Oh. Jungle Cruise, was same thing. Rampage? Did, Rampage. Did yep. okay. Earthquake, whatever that movie was. San Andreas. Did okay. Jungle Cruise? Did okay, but I wouldn't say he's like... He's an A-list star, but he doesn't bring the box... He's no Tom Cruise. He's not bringing the box office. He's not breaking down everything. But apparently, he thought he was... Important enough to bend DC Studios over and force them to take yes. what he was giving them. They wanted him to smell what The Rock was cooking. Well, apparently, it ultimately got himself and Henry Cavill fired while tanking the next superhero movie at the box office. They are blaming him for the failure of Shazam 2. And I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people to blame. I don't know if he's the only one. They're saying that he there's a big part of it. Be, well, think about it this way. If you're doing Shaz- Shazam, is, who's Shazam's primary enemy? Black Adam. Okay. And is Superman Black Adam's primary mm, enemy? No. I could think of, I don't know, Brainiac. Um, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Bizarro. Mr. mix of blick blicks Who's the other one? The one Metallo, I think he is. Oh, yeah, Metallo, yeah. There's a lot of Superman villains, and Black Adam isn't among them, but The Rock was so keen on fighting Superman that he may have ignored his natural enemy. Should Shazam 2 not have been Shazam versus Black Adam? Would that not have been a big hit? Would have been nice, yeah. Better than Black Adam and Shazam 2 put together, I would think. I didn't think. mind Black Adam, but I think Shazam 2 would have been significantly better versus, you know, with Black Adam and, and Shazam. And then maybe, the, maybe Shazam, because he's a little kid, got beaten at the end of Shazam 2 and Superman had to step in. Wouldn't that, that be interesting? make a lot of sense, except Sh- Black Adam wasn't positioned as, an, as a villain. He was more like an anti-hero. Correct, and it, it, and we've seen a lot of articles about saying how about uh, how about Johnson's Black Adam bombed, even though it made more money than Shang Chi. Just want to point it that did out. Okay, like it was solid. It made like four hundred. It made like three hundred ninety-five million dollars, which is pretty good. But apparently, it bombed. Now Shazam: Fury of the Gods. Now that oh, super bomb. That might be an actual bomb. Yes. Like, if it breaks 300, that would be impressive. That would be impressive. Uh, although, maybe it'll beat Ant-Man. Who knows? Yeah. No, Ant-Man made a lot of money the first week and then made nothing yeah. the next couple of weeks. But it only made $30.5 million its first weekend, far below the $53.5 million earned by the first installment. And it seems like The Rock had little to do with it, but apparently there are people out there, including the star uh, himself... Was it Zachary Levi? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Zachary Levi is is maybe blaming Black Adam a little bit here. Yeah, he was supposed to show up as a cameo. Yeah, because it says here when promoting Black Adam, Johnson promoted his face off as Superman, played by Cavill, undermining Shazam in the public eye. And I don't think it helps that James Gunn also undermined Shazam. Basically, everybody undermined yeah. Shazam. And Dwayne was trying to sell himself as a as bigger than the movie. Instead of making a movie, he wanted to extend his brand and making his brand the center of everything. Very strange. Very strange. Bad choices. You're not more important. It's interesting because if you think about it, like, is Henry Cavill more important than Superman? Yes. No. Mm. Have you is, seen that man shirtless? Is Gal Gadot more important than Wonder Woman? Mm. 
yes. What? I mean, I'm going to say yes. She's pretty hot. She's not more important than the character. I... Okay. Oh, it really depends on who else you'd want to have her play. Like, Let's talk about Batman. Mm, ben Who's Affleck, the most though. important Batman? Ben Affleck. Who's the second most important Batman? Ben Affleck. Who's the third most important Christian Batman? Christian Bale. All right. Or were you were you looking for Michael Keaton? I'm looking for... It, the point is... I'm going to say George Clooney, honestly. Other people can hold... Can be cast as the character, but the character is more important. There's been several directors recently who've even said that. That the character is more important than the actual actor who plays the character. Yes. And I think... I think that Dwayne The Rock Johnson overestimated. No, he is full of himself. Here's another article. The Rock and his ego ruining another franchise. Dwayne Johnson sacrificing Zachary Levi Shazam for benefit of Black Adam report makes DCU fans furious because the Shazam 2 got good fan ratings. People so did Black it. Adam. They both got good fan yeah, ratings. Yeah, it was like 87 and 88. Yeah. They liked them. I just I think they should have set it up where Dwayne Johnson should have competed against Shazam and then you make the next step. He was jumping a few steps and he shouldn't have yes. done that. Yeah, it's it's very disturbing. Now, what's interesting is is the media has taken to blaming uh Dwayne Johnson for this. I mean, they're all over it. All he the show media. Definitely didn't help. Definitely did not help. Definitely doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, Zachary Levi seemingly confirms reports that Dwayne Johnson blocked Hawkman and other JSA characters from appearing in Shazam Fear of the Gods. Not to mention he, he blocked his own cameo in Shazam 2. So he refused to do a cameo. Doesn't want to be associated. Anyone else in, other than Superman? Yeah, he had to go after the, after the top. And they're saying he also ruined Fast and Furious. Too much ego. And, you know, Vin I Diesel. I mean, Vin Diesel's a bit of a bitch, too. But, you know, when they have things in their contracts about, like, how many times you can get punched in the face and you can only be hit so many times before you have to have, like, a, a fight. Like, little much. Little much. Yeah. Uh, everything related to The Rock, DCEU related, is embarrassing. I mean, it kind of It's a is. little embarrassing. The fact that they forced them to have a, what the, his Termanus tequila stand during the opening of Black Adam, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Like that, I think if that doesn't encapsulate the fact that he just wanted to have full control, then I don't know what does. Although on the other side, some people are saying, stop blaming The Rock. And this came out of The Root, which uh, I don't know about that, if they're any good. But they're saying you shouldn't blame The Rock for this. So there's people on both sides of the fence. Personally, gonna blame The Rock. It's it's like at least 75% his fault. Like the movie sucked. So obviously it wasn't going to do well. Yeah, and but if you had a better opponent, would not it be a better movie? So if the director going into it knew that Black Adam was his natural villain, which was set up in Shazam 1, you don't think that that would make a better movie instead of some weird old ladies that he was supposed to fight? Yeah, I think that either way, like by the time that all of this happens... Regardless, James Gunn was going to blow this shit up and destroy it anyway. So I feel like it would have been null and void no matter what. What even happened to like the little wiggly worm guy that was at the wiggly end worm. of... There was oh, a little worm that... Oh, uh, he... Do you want me to, do you want me to no, tell you? No, know, is he connected though? Nah, sort of. But not really. It's the same... It's like the same, the same thing happens again. We're setting up... Of yep. a character that's never uh -huh. going to show yeah, up. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. I forget who the Wiggly Worm is even supposed to be. Uh, it's somebody in the in that universe. It's like more of a joke in this one than it is in the first one. Like the first one's like, oh, this, this is... This could be serious. And then the next one's like, wow, this is just kind of turned into a joke. Well... Like the whole second movie is just like everything is turned into a joke. It's a joke of itself. And that's probably because they had nowhere to go because they were going to get continued with. It's the sequel no one asked for. I'm sure it's perfectly fine, but not very memorable. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think down below? Did The Rock ruin everything? Is he continuing to ruin everything? Will you drink his tequila? 
or will you flush it down the toilet? You tell us down in the comments below. We will respond because we respond to all the comments, regardless of whether or not you call us uh, racial epithets or you say that you love us and want to have our babies. We're there for you. Both sides of the fence. No judgment at all. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places for free. We also go on the Rumbles. And you can catch us 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube Live. Come hang with us. Stop kicking the cameras. Oh, whoops. You jackhole. Whoopsies. Anyway, I'm stretching. We are on to the next one. Thank you for listening. We love you. On to the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh-huh.